certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips, and if you are a fan of the warmer weather, you're going to want to soak it up as much as you can today. We are still looking at some 80s in mid Michigan and still on Thursday, it'll be fairly mild with 70 degrees, but we at least get back at least close to normal temperatures. Normal is about 66 degrees, so we'll reach that come Friday and then here comes a stretch of below average temperatures. So we are all, we are all over the place as far as the conditions that we have for this week into the weekend. So it's a little bit of a tricky transition as we go from summer into fall. Now rain chances are also another thing that we're going to have to monitor and Thursday going to be the wet day here of the week. 70% chance that we see those showers. Everybody is going to be picking up on some sort of rainfall. How broken that line is is what we're going to be tracking. But come Friday, the shower chances a little more isolated. And then once the lake effect machine turns on just lake effect rain, we will find that we see scattered showers through the weekend. Hour by hour conditions showing that the clouds that we've been looking at here at the lunch hour, we may pick up a slight break to allow those temperatures to jump one last time. But overnight, we will start to see those clouds fill back in, bringing us the rain chances in our northern counties just shortly after midnight. So we will start out the morning tomorrow with rainfall at the bus stop. And this line, you can see it's fairly broad in size. So we are going to watch that move across south and east, and that's going to be here throughout the day. So morning, afternoon, and even into the evening, we still will be tracking rainfall in mid Michigan. But by nine o'clock, you can see that line is working its way out and we'll actually have a little bit of clearing to get us into Friday morning, but we'll still have those isolated rain chances to wrap up the work and school week. We'll pick up the majority of our rainfall tomorrow and we're going to be looking at rain totals that get us close to about a half inch, even towards an inch for some of us. So this is going to be a good amount of rain considering how dry the month of September was. But rain chances are going to be painted across the seven day forecast, though the best chance is going to be overnight tonight into your Thursday, and then the rain chances do become a little bit lighter, a little more scattered in nature as we see those showers through the weekend. The whole weekend may be not ideal if you're looking to go to the cider mill or the pumpkin patch, but at least be more fall like since we'll be eyeing those 50s to be a little more constant in our forecast.